Hello, everyone. Um, if you can hear me, please let me know in the chat. Um, we are about to get started. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so thank you for attending. This is going to be our registration workshop. Um, so my name is Ashley Thompson. I'm the program technician with Saracoso's counseling department. Uh, I also have Alfonso Guzman here. He is, a count he is an advisor with the counseling department. And then we also have Robin Duff from Admissions and Records. They both will be here to answer questions at the end of the presentation. Uh, first, we're gonna go through some slides, just some need to know information before registering. And then we're gonna do a live walkthrough of registering through our student platform called Navigate, and then also through Inside CC in the Saracosa website. So after all of that, we'll go ahead and have a Q&A at the end. Make sure that if you have any questions, you write down, the you type in the questions in the chat box. And then our Kim Carrasco from Outreach, she is gonna be writing those questions down so that we can keep track and answer them at the end for you. Um, I'm gonna give a, couple more minutes just in case I know that there's still some people coming in I see the amount going up um, so we'll pause for just a couple minutes and then we'll go ahead and get started Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start off with the presentation as stated before. Uh, the things that we are going to review in the presentation. Let's look at the learning objectives. So can you guys see the, the workshop presentation just fine? Great. Okay. So the learning objectives, things that we're going to review before we do the live walkthrough are what it means to register, um, the types of registration dates, um, a little bit of info on access programs. We're going to talk about some things that you need to know before registering, um, some things you may run into registering. We're going to get into that live run of the Inside C and Navigate, and then we're going to have our Q&A at the end. So what does it mean to register? Registering for a course means to reserve your spot for that course. This is gonna to lead to you being enrolled. And if you pass the course, you'll be receiving credit for that class.
there are different types of registration. So we have priority registration and that is actually open right now. Um, that's given to veterans, foster youth, former foster youth, DSPS, EOPS, and I'll go a little bit uh, more in, in depth in what those programs are uh, on the next slide. Um, but it's also given to students who are continuing who've completed core requirements. Um, so that's completing orientation. Uh, you can either do that in person or online. Right now, it's most likely going to be online. I know that we're going to have some upcoming orientation workshops if you want to attend those via Zoom. Um, you're also going to want to meet with a counselor and they're going to place you into math, English, um, check to see any prior coursework you had just in case they can waive any prerequisites um, to courses that you want to take um, and then also complete your long-term education plan. Uh, the cool thing about those is that usually when you meet with the counselor, you can get the last two, such as placement and long-term ed plan done in about one or two meetings with them. So you can get all that done pretty quickly. Then we have open registration. That's going to be opening April 15th. Uh, that registration is going to be open to all returning and new coming students. Um, if you have priority registration, I definitely suggest registering right now. There are some classes that fill up quicker than others. If it's something that you need, you want to get in there. Um, as soon as open registration occurs and that's that's the group that you're in, I suggest you go in on the first day and try to register if you can. So this was the access information that I said I was going to go a little bit more into detail. Um, these are just the programs that we offer within our access program that's within the uh, counseling department. So these are above and beyond services to assist students. So we have EOPS. They assist if there's a financial need that's not met. Um, you can refer to the qualification to see if you meet those requirements. We also have care. Those are for single parents, head of household. Um, we have Next Up, that's uh, the newer of the programs, that's for foster youth, that's for someone who is current or a former foster youth who was in care and in or um, during or after age 16. Uh, we also have CalWORKs, that's for AFDC, TANF receivers, so that's the, the cash aid, um, CalFresh receivers, and then we also have the DSPS qualifications, so that's, uh, sorry, DSPS program, and that's Disabled Student Programs and Services. For the, Those are for individuals who um, have verifi verifiable disabilities. Um, you can receive accommodations. Um, and other services as well. So just be aware that these things are, are here for you. Um, if you want more information, you can visit the Saracoso uh, website. And then also we have the um, number here. Oh, sorry about that. We have the number here, 760-384-6250 for the access program. So you can go ahead and give them a call if you want a little bit more information. Next, we're going to go to registration date. So uh, spring is right now, so can't register for that. Uh, we got to wait till November, as you see, to register for spring. Um, and then also summer and fall, though that's what we're registering for right now. That begins in April. It began yesterday So uh, for early registration. So just be aware that during those times or when you're going to register for those semesters. So some info um, that you'll need before registering. Um, it's a good thing to know what Navigate is. Uh, some students aren't aware that we have the student platform. Um, it assists easy management in your college experience. So you can track to do's that you have, um, some things you need to get done, whether it's applying for financial aid, registering for classes. Um, we also have Major Explorer on there. This is a quiz that you can take. You pretty much are letting them know what your interests are as far as career-wise. Is money more important to you? Is job satisfaction more important to you, um, et cetera? And you complete that quiz and it'll suggest majors that we offer that fit your career interests. And this is really good to complete before you meet with a counselor because they can know how to approach um, 
the major that or provide you and, and give you a little bit more information on the suggested majors. Um, we also have one click registration. We're going to go ahead and go through that today. And then also there's a list of campus resources. We just added a whole bunch of resources on there. So it'd be good if you'd be able to go on there and look at those resources. And then you can also opt into study buddy groups. What is Insight CC? Just in case you're a new student and you haven't yet logged in or um, or anything like that, then you can go to the uh, Insight CC that is through the Saracosa website. Um, as soon as you go to Saracosa website, you're going to see here uh, circled in red is the Insight CC. You'll be clicking on that and you can access your band web. That's how you um, kind of manage your student accounts and the My Tools. That's that's how you reach Canvas, which is where your online courses um, are offered uh, and 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 instruction is provided um, and also the navigate uh, navigate can be accessed through there as well meeting with a counselor or ed advisor is super important before um, registering for courses if you haven't yet done that if you haven't had a long-term education plan made for you it's really important that you do that students with those tend to have more success uh, and tend to graduate on time um, you're meeting with a counselor pretty much to get that long term education plan, but also to receive placement for math and English. Uh, we need to see what coursework you've done just to ensure you're getting in the correct math and English and to ensure that uh, we get you graduating on time. So it's super important that you send transcripts um, as soon as you can. I know that uh, high school is not currently done yet, but when it but when it's done, we, we need those transcripts if you can request them get them to us as soon as possible um, and right now counselors are also using the academic planner and navigate i'll be showing that to you as well um, during the live walkthrough of registering through navigate so just a heads up on that too Here's some information if you have not yet met with a counselor or ed advisor. Um, there's different numbers for different uh, campuses. Whichever campus you are at, here are the numbers that you can call to schedule an appointment. Um, you can meet over the phone or you can meet via Zoom. Um, we're kind of limited right now. I know a lot of us are stuck at home. So um, there are still ways though that, that we can contact you and interact with you. So if you prefer still somewhat of a face-to-face, -face, Zoom is there. Um, if you're fine with over the phone, that is an option. But these are the numbers that you can call to schedule an appointment. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple things that you may run into while registering. So we're gonna talk about wait lists, holds and prerequisite requirements. And you guys heard me mention prerequisite earlier. I'm gonna go a little bit more into detail about that now. So a wait list. Um, a wait list is pretty much a list that you are put onto if a course that you're trying to register for is full. Um, Navigate will let you know if a course is full and CC is gonna let you know if a course is full and it's gonna give you the option to put yourself on a wait list. Um, if you are registering through Navigate and a course is full, you will need to actually go through Insight CC to register for that particular course. Otherwise, you'll be able to register for your courses through Navigate. When you are put on a play, uh, wait list, you'll be given a number. Um, so you'll know where on that wait list you stand, um, whether you're five, you're five students out, maybe you're the first on the wait list, you're, you're highly likely to get into that class um, if someone ends up not showing up on the first day. If you're moved into the class, you'll be notified through your email. So it's super important, even now more than ever, to be checking your student emails. Um, that is one of the main ways we're going to be contacting you um, and communicating with you. So definitely check your student emails um, on a daily basis, if not every other day. Um, if you can maybe give yourself notifications or something to remind yourself, that would be ideal. Um, attend the first day of class if you are put on a wait list. So if other individuals who were able to go into the class don't show up, 
that means that spots are going to be opening. So if you attend on that first day and you are close enough on that wait list to get into the class, so let's say you're like the second person on the wait list, three people didn't show up, you're most likely going to be moved into the class as long as you're showing up on that first day. Um, if you're going to be doing an online class, uh, go ahead and log in the Friday before. So just make sure you're there on that first day. You do have up to 10 business days to ensure that you pay for the class or there's a chance that you could be dropped. So holds. Holds are something that can prevent you from registering. Um, there's different reasons that you could have a hold on your account. Um, it could be due to owing funds, uh, maybe owe some money, or maybe your academic status, maybe you're on probation, uh, disqual disqualification. Um, if you do have holds, you can call Saracosa's Admissions and Records Office. Um, as you see down here, there's the phone number, the 760 Um It may be easier just to email at the cc underscore ar at saracosa.edu um, to maybe there, there would be quicker responses just because I know that they're they get a lot of calls at this time so it might be easier just to um, send an email to get a speedier response. Prerequisite requirements. Um, a prerequisite is something that uh, you need to complete. Uh, it's pretty much found a foundation within a subject. So let's say that you want to complete ceramics too. Well, there's a lot of things that you need to, to learn about ceramics um, and in the foundation of ceramics. So you're going to have to get that information in ceramics one. So to complete ceramics two, you first need to complete ceramics one. So you're getting important information to build your foundation within that subject. Um, this must be completed with a C or better. Um, we will use your transcripts to determine if prior experience or coursework meets a prerequisite. So if you know that you did some um, AP courses in high school or um, you know you have other life experience that you feel um, gives you enough experience to know plenty about the subject, um, you can do a prerequisite challenge uh, and you can find that information on the Saracosa website. So we're going to exit out of this one because we're going to do the Q&A at the end and we're going to go ahead and get started on the uh, live walkthrough of Navigate. And if you want to grab yourself uh, a little snack, I'll go ahead and give a give a pause for for uh, let's say let's give uh, two minutes if you need to step away for anything. Okay, so we are going to get started. Can you guys see the Cerro Coso website screen? Okay, great. Okay, so as I stated before, we are going to do the navigate registration walkthrough right now. So the first place you're going to go is to the Cerro Coso website. When you reach the Saracosa website, 
you're going to go to Insight CC. Now, when you go to Insight CC, you should see your name here. If you're logged in, you'll see my band web and you'll see tools. To access Navigate through the desktop, you're going to go to Tools. It's going to drop down and you see Navigate Student or Navigate Staff. As a student, you're going to choose Navigate Student. This is going to take you to the Navigate login. It, there's a chance it could take you to the student homepage immediately. If not, it'll take you to this page and you just go ahead and log in with your school account. And I'm going to do Uh, okay, sorry guys. <laughs> We're in. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So now it's going to take us to the student homepage. Um, this is the home page for your Navigate student profile. Um, as you can see to the left here, this was a little bit of what I reviewed with you earlier. This is how you access the study buddies. Um, if you are registered for a course, you can go ahead and join the list of resources that I was talking about earlier. This will let you know if you have any holds. So before you register, you can go ahead and check this to see if you're going to run any into any issues ahead of time. Um, I don't have any, so we're good to go. And then the class schedule, if you've registered, you'll see what courses you've registered for. And then this is the my major quiz that I was talking to you about uh, earlier as far as completing the quiz of your career interest. So that is a good tool to use as well. To get to registration, we are going to go up here to the planner. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. This is going to take you to your Navigate Student Academic Plan. Um, here you see that the major chosen, this is my major liberal arts, arts and humanities, um, and I am following the IGETC plan. If any of this is inaccurate, um, let's say there's the wrong major on there, um, contact the counseling department, schedule an appointment so that you can get your major changed um, to the correct major. Down here are plan suggestions. So because of the major and the type of general plan that I am following that I get see, there are gonna be some suggestions on courses down here. Um, if you're familiar with the education plan, you know that there's different areas such as um, area six, area two um, of the I get see that you need to meet. Um, you can go ahead and choose the play button I call it the play button. <laughs> um, and you'll see courses drop down from there. But you can view that it has different courses. Um, over here, you'll see requisite on some courses. That just means that you have not yet had the prerequisite for that course cleared. So you can go ahead and put it on your schedule, but you won't be able to register for it until you get that cleared with a counselor. If it's something that you believe should be cleared, um, definitely schedule an appointment uh, with a counselor so that you can provide uh, proof. Uh, maybe we already have transcripts and then the counselor can go ahead and clear that for you and you can register for the course. Over here is the academic plan. Um, so the actual term by term um, for you. As you see here, there's different terms already on here. If you've met with a counselor and they built this with you, they would have shown you this page and built this with you. Um, then you'll most likely already have terms scheduled out with courses on here. If you have not yet done that, that's fine. Um, you can do it for yourself. You can go ahead and add a new term. Let's say I want to do spring 2021 because I already have fall down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do spring 2021 it'll add it on here and it'll be down here. And as you can see on each section, it tells you when the registration 
for that section begins. So summer, registration is open. Fall 2020, registration is open. If you wanna start scheduling your courses over here, you're gonna to go to this area over here, the plan suggestions, and you're gonna start dragging courses over here. So I'm gonna to go to a life science and I will do this one. So you can either drag it and here I'll drag it to this one because we'll do fall. And as you can see here, it populates. You also have the option and we'll do arts to click the hamburger drop down, add course to term, and then choose the term. So it can also be moved that way. And it'll go ahead and populate over here. You also have the option to search for courses here. Um, if there's anything that you're like super excited to take and you just want to favorite this course because you want to make sure that you're aware of it, you're reminded of it. Um, and this will also always take you back to this page right here. Let's say you search for something, this will take you back here. So we have fall scheduled. I believe that's all the courses that I want to take. So if you are set to go, you're gonna go ahead, view and edit schedule. That is gonna take you to this page. Let's see what that is. Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the registration page. As you can see here, this is where you're actually going to hit register, but there are some steps that we are going to take before that. So down here is your schedule and you can see a week by week schedule. These are the months for the courses that they're going to be offered. And as you can see here, I'm already registered in a course. So you can see it's going to be going from August 24th to December 12th. Um, down here is a visual schedule. This is really important for anyone who has tasks that they know may conflict with courses. Um, if you have anything in particular that you know that you're doing, um, let's say on Let's say on Mondays you have a 10 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. commitment. Um, and let's say on Tuesdays you absolutely cannot do anything between seven and nine. You can go ahead and block your schedule. You just click on it and you drag down and it'll be blocked for you. If you don't wanna block, you can go ahead and exit out of it. Um, and then Navigate will know that you can't take courses at that time. So then it's gonna give you some information on whether those courses are gonna conflict. These are the courses that I had dragged over on the planner we are going to go ahead and click on sections and it's going to provide me courses that are available to me dates times and it's also going to give me the location so you see this is on the east kern campus and there are two courses online the conflicting are going to be the ones that aren't going to match your schedule so on mondays 8 to 10 obviously i'm not going to be uh, available so I should be available, but not going to be available. So it's letting me know conflicting. Um, so I may not be able to register for that one. But you know, since I have commitments, I will go ahead and choose an online one because then I can manage my own schedule. So when time comes that you're going to choose a course, you're going to click on the hamburger. And then you just add the section. And it's going to tell you you have scheduled this course. And as you see over here, there's now a one. The number is gonna keep going up the more courses that you add. So it's gonna tell you how many courses you are now scheduled to register for. And down here, this anthro section right here, the reason why it's not on this schedule is because it's an online course and it's not gonna conflict with anything. If you had an on-campus one, it would show up here and it would block out the times for you. You can also confirm down here that it's scheduled and it just confirms information you already knew before. So we're going to go to the sections again for the art course. And then all of these are online. So 
I will choose to go with Spence. So you go ahead and add section. And as you see here, I now have two courses that I am planning on registering for. This is letting you know that each of these courses are going to be offered August 24th and the last day will be December 12th. To confirm down here again, it has a list of the scheduled courses that I am taking. And if I am all done and good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and register. And we're done, quick and easy. So it says registration request successfully processed. That means I'm registered. And then this is successfully registered as well. So we got it. Now let's say, actually, you know what? I did wanna take some courses on campus. I spoke to my counselor. I can go ahead and switch these around um, and take some different courses this semester. And I wanna drop these. That's quick and easy too. You just go down here to the registered courses click on the hamburger and you drop the course. You confirm the drop course, drop successfully. And then we're gonna drop this one too. And this one is also dropped successfully. Cool thing is it doesn't take it completely off. It'll still put it over here for you. So let's say you, you wanted to do on campus and they offered one on campus and you changed your mind and you wanna do that one instead, you can click on the sections. Again, look for the one that's on campus. Okay, so that is the Navigate walkthrough for registering. Now we're gonna register through Inside CC. So you're gonna go back to the Saracoso webpage and you're gonna click on Inside CC. Again, you're gonna look for your name. There's gonna be the BandWeb tools to register through Inside CC. We're gonna go ahead and click on My BandWeb. You're gonna go all the way down this drop down to the add or drop classes. You can look up classes, but you're gonna go to the add or drop classes. So that's how we're gonna register. We're gonna get to that in just a bit. But first, I also wanna let you know if you have not yet met with a counselor, again, I'm gonna emphasize that for the 50th time, definitely do so because then you can build your schedule of classes with them. If you know what courses you already need to take, and you don't have the CRN number, which is the course registration number, you're gonna need that to register through Inside CC. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and show you how to do that. So we're Inside CC, we're gonna click on Schedule of Classes. That's gonna take you to this page, the Schedule of Classes page. And down here you see, we have the different semesters that the classes are being offered. So let's say you wanna register for fall. We're gonna to go to full schedule because I wanna see online courses, but I wanna see courses that are offered on site as well. So we're gonna hit full schedule. So if you've met with the counselor, you most likely have this information, um, but if you didn't, or maybe you only have course names and not the CRN, um, this is where you're gonna get that information. So as you see here on the left, it's telling you the status of the class. These are open classes. These are classes that are open for instruction on the date that they're gonna be starting. And then also they're not full, so, and they're not restricted. Um, if it's a full class, there will be a wait list right here, and you'll have to put yourself on a wait list. If it's restricted, and we can actually scroll down to see a restricted class, it's going to stay right here. So most likely, registration for that class is going to be something that you'll have to get cleared. Some of these are restricted just because of the location. Um, some of them are offered in our pris at the prisons because we have prison programs. So um, some of those you're not going to be able to participate in. Um, but you're able to see here, this is the CRN section. And these are the numbers right here 
that you're going to need um, for the registering into inside CC. So you're definitely going to go ahead and want to write those numbers down. Um, Pay attention to the days and times that it's being offered. Make sure there's no conflicts with other courses. Um, that's what's nice about registering with Navigate is that it'll tell you if there's a conflict. Um, but if you're gonna do Inside CC, just be extra aware that some courses may conflict. So just be aware of the dates and times that they're being offered as well as your own commitments um, that are outside of your coursework. Um, it's gonna tell you the location here. And you can see this one right here is offered online where it's going to be on campus, whichever campus it's offered on, and then who the professor and instructor is. This right here is how many seats are open. Um, as you see, 20 out of 20, so this is a completely open class. Um, if it is full and 20 people already registered, that's where the wait list is gonna start, and you're gonna see how many people are already on the wait list here. Over here, is how many weeks it is being offered and then this is zero textbook cost so it'd be really good to just pay a little bit attention to this section just because if there is an icon next to a course in this section that means that course does not require you to purchase a textbook so you may be able to save some money um, so that's a good that's a good thing just to be aware of so again, this is the full schedule of courses that are being offered online um, and then also on the various campuses that Saracoso has. So I have a CRN and I'm just gonna get a couple CRNs and we're gonna go ahead and go back to registering. So we're gonna go back to the schedule of classes page And we're going to go back again to Insight CC. So we're going to go to BandWeb and we're going to go to that drop down and we're going to go to add or drop classes. Now here is where you're going to choose which term you're registering for. So summer, spring or fall. And I chose to look at the fall schedule. So I'm going to do fall. We're going to submit. And this information's pulling through through Navigate. Um, <laughs> so that's why there's a lot of courses on there. Um, as you can see, you'll see the status of the course here as well. Um, the action you'll need to take, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but these are the CRNs, the subjects. And then also um, here, we'll do the drop down for action. So if I was to choose web registered and then submit changes, it would register me back for this course but we're gonna go from a clean slate. And we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. So you have these little boxes here and there's quite a few of them. This is where you're gonna input the CRN information that you had written down. So I'm gonna write 72833 and 72871. These are the courses that I chose. There were times that were gonna work for me. They were with the professors that I want and the subjects that I wanted. So afterwards, you're gonna to wanna to submit changes. I know that complete registration is here and it's pretty and it's blue and it's eye catching, but you're first gonna to want to click the submit changes before you hit complete registration. So we're gonna submit changes. And you're going to look at the status over here again just to confirm. So I'm web registered. That means I am registered for these courses once I hit complete registration. Um, here's the drop down. You can choose to drop before start date. And we'll go through that in a little bit too because that's also an option. Uh, in the next step, we're going to complete registration now because these are the two courses that I wanted to take. ASB card, you have the option to purchase one of those. I'm gonna say no. Now, once you get this screen, you're registered. Once you see this account balance, that means you're registered. There's gonna have the course titles. Um, it's gonna have the schedule. I definitely suggest confirming um, every step of the way, uh, even now that these are the courses, the dates, times that you want to take. So let's say that, you know what, I changed my mind. 
I don't want to take these courses. I want to take something else. That's fine. Once you get to this page, you can return to menu. You can go to add drop classes. And we're going to scroll down. And those reg web registered ones, those are the ones I'm registered for. So I am going to drop before the start date. Drop before the start date. And we're going to ignore the pretty blue and hit submit changes instead of complete registration. So after we hit submit changes, it says dropped before start date. Perfect. That means I'm not registered for any courses right now. I'm going to complete. I'm going to say no to that ASB card. And as you see, my account balance is zero. Okay. There is also the chance that you may be put on a wait list and the courses are completely open right now. None of them are full. So I can't show you that um, live, but what I can review with you um, and I'll actually take you to the web page right now where it has the steps on what to do at, on a wait list, but I want to reference this page right now before I do that. So in the status section, it will say wait listed here and you will have the action section right here. The drop down will say wait list. You're going to click on the wait list and then you submit and you complete. And I'm going to show you the, the um, page that has the steps on that. So we're going to go back to this. And I'm just going to type it in because that is quicker for me. Uh, how to wait list a class. And if you want to get through this through the various steps, I usually use this keyword here because it's a quick way to find stuff, but you can also go to program classes and hit wait list and it'll take you here too. So how to wait list a class. So the section that I just told you, um, remember in the status section, how I said it was going to be a uh, wait list. That section is right here and the action is none. You're going to drop down and you see that it's going to say wait list and then you submit changes. And this information down here is just kind of a reiteration that um, when you are put on a wait list, just make sure that you are paying attention to your email, make sure you're showing up that first day of class. If you're online, show up the Friday before, uh, make sure that the course is being paid for within 10 days so you're not getting dropped. Um, and after you complete your registration, you are good to go and you are registered for your courses. Um, so that is, that is the workshop. We can actually start on the questions and answers. Um, and we'll see where we are at with that. So give me one second and let me see what questions we have. And here we go. Is fall semester registering right now? Yes, it is. Um, early registration for fall semester is open right now. Um, open registration for fall semester will be on the 15th. Um, so you can register for fall during April. Oh, Kim, you already answered that. You're on it, sorry. <laughs> So in the um, app stores, the Navigate application, you'll type in Navigate Student. So that's in the Google Play Store or in the Apple App Store. Um, you'll go ahead and type in Navigate Student and that'll pull up the Navigate app for you. You can download it there. When you are registering though, you'll need to register through the Navigate through Inside CC. Um, you'll still be able to manage your experience as a student through the app. You'll still be able to access the resources, the quiz, all of that good stuff. But as far as registering, you'll need to do it through your desktop through the Inside CC. And I am going to unmute everyone. So if you do not have questions, go ahead and mute yourself.
Um, I do hear people, but I wanted to open it just so you can ask questions. Um, if any were unanswered, I see that uh, Robin, Alfonso, Fabian, Kim were answering questions during the chat box. So if you didn't have any answer, you can go ahead and, and ask, um, and then we can go ahead and get those answered for you. Um, is the update process the same? Regarding the update form? I'm sorry, if you if you are asking questions, please mute your uh, microphone. That's what I'm asking. What, what do you do? We're going to... Okay, I went ahead and muted it again, um, just because I want to make sure that questions are not interrupted. Um, so let me see, there are nine more messages. Um, when do you recommend meeting with a counselor? I definitely recommend meeting with a counselor if you are a brand new student. Um, just because they need to know where your interests are, they can talk to you about majors, create your long-term education plan. Anytime you're going to deviate from the education plan that you made with your counselor, you're going to want to meet with a counselor or advisor as well. Um, you'll, you're sometimes given courses uh, on your education plan on certain semesters because they're only offered for those semesters. And if you were to opt out of those and take a different one, there's a chance you may have to wait a while before taking it again. So we always suggest that if you're going to um, deviate from your education plan that you uh, meet with a counselor for that reason as well. Do you pay for classes online? Was that answered yet? Um, I, I believe you're asking if you pay online for the classes. Um, let me see. Robin, are you able to answer if they pay for the classes online? I believe they can pay uh, with a card online, but I just want to double check. Okay, and I'm seeing more questions and I'm seeing that you guys are getting answers. So that's good. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Alfonso, Fabian. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. If you have more questions, we're all still here. Um, please ask them in the chat box and we'll get them answered for you. I 
I have made all of the uh, Cerro Coso staff uh, co-hosts, so they'll be able to answer your questions verbally, or they'll be writing you back in the uh, group chat. So just to give you a heads up on that. Um, so I'm seeing a, a request for info on the update form. You can update your information through the Inside CC. Um, you'll need to update this uh, when it requires you to. When you log in, you'll you'll immediately get a message that you need to update your um, your update form once you go to register. So you'll just make sure that you're going to do that. I am also posting um, contact information for admissions and records. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get those um, numbers for the counseling department at the different sites on the chat room as well. So if you need those again, that information is being posted there. Does anyone have any other questions? Yeah. 
Each of you will probably be receiving a survey about your experience uh, with this workshop. Please um, go through and, and um, put any opinions or ideas that you might have uh, for us to know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for attending. Um, we will be offering more workshops in the future, so just be aware of that. You'll be getting communications. You can also check the Saracosa website. Like I said, we're going to have some orientations coming up soon, so just keep an eye out. And thank you again for coming and attending. Oh, we're ending it. Uh, does anybody have any questions about appropriate classes to take? Summer, fall, and changing your major? If anyone does have questions, we do have a few minutes, so there is time if you if you want to ask those. Okay, just remember you have any questions to call us in the counseling office and we can help you with uh, registration, uh, look over your high school transcripts, let you know which classes to take, uh, English and math and uh, assess, well, English and math placement. Um, if you change, if you have the wrong major, we can change your major if you need to. Uh, so once again, give us a call at 760-384-6219 and the number is posted there on the chat. All right, if there's no more, no more questions, we're gonna go ahead and end the presentation now. Thank you again for participating um, and we'll see you guys soon.